This one goes out to my mortal deity, Sans the Skeleton, my favorite ghetto spiritualist and sewer priest, Endless Jess, and my dad, please forgive me, Sensei. Just sitting here on my bed, cleaning out my botflies and making them dead. It doesn't matter though, they'll be back on the attack in like three fucking seconds. Because I have botflies all over my house and in my bed. And in my head and in my brain and my pants are filled with them. I really like Ulysses S. Grant. Kill all the blacks and the gays, not because they're bad or they're okay. I just want to make everyone skeletons like my god Sans! That's my mission, you see? Haha, <laughs> alright, bitch, gonna spread over to my Mexican's house. Friend's house and stuff burritos down my lemon pipe, real spicy too. Gonna torture my dick daily and nightly. Whoops, oh fuck. Disneyland police guard people are here and they found my bathroom rap studio. Oh god, when I get nervous, I shit a monsoon. Roller coaster tattoo is my favorite video game. I have a tattoo of Santa Skeleton on my actual literal butthole. Like directly on it, Brett. <laughs> like, oh fuck, they're trying to forcibly rape me. Am I raping me? I mean, remove this. Sorry, Dad. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. It's back, and it's lit, and it's on dog shit fire on your doorstep. Here we are. I am <laughs> the best guy ever. That's who I am, and I'm joined by Hypocrite. Hello. And Endless Jess. <laughs> and Digibro. I'm still gay and still dead. And Ben Saint. I'm these farest from the mic. And today we have a unbelievable honor to have this special guest with us, Florian Himsel, co-creator of Binding of Isaac. What's mm. up, dude? Oh, hey, guys. Oh, man, what a surprise. You must well, be a big... Are, what are you doing here? How did you get here? <laughs> Onto our channel. Oh, oh no. Well, yes. That was the last in introduction. Oh, no. Well, oh, it's because you're the most important, of course. Mm. Uh, so, so we noticed uh, recently that you commented on uh, the Binding of Isaac video from Radcon 2 that was put up, and you were just like, hey guys, check out my game, looking pretty good um, on this channel. Yeah. And then we just started talking, and now you're here, and it's, uh, it's fucking rad, dude. It's well, fucking great. Yeah, um, if, if I may, I, I'd just mm. like to yeah. ask uh, Sir Himsel, uh, uh, how... how how did you find uh, the PCP? How how did you get? Um, how did how did this come to pass? I've been watching for a while. It's it's quite my favorite podcast, actually. Oh shit! Aww. Why? Why indeed? <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was my first. That was my that first one. question too. Well, uh, he doesn't have to answer that if he doesn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I well, watch all of your I'll stuff as well. I'll never get an answer. Really? <laughs> yes. It's, 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 Which we, one we, of us did you find first? And that's and, a good uh, question. It's probably Digibro, actually, because I, mm -hmm. I I watched the Sword Art Sucks, and then I mm -hmm. watched mm -hmm. some more, but then I forgot about Digi, and then later I discovered Chess, and I I watched all of that, and it was brilliant. And oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your secrets are not safe. They're all exposed. And I found all of the rest, and and so... Awesome. It's, watched well, you, it all. I was, I was, <laughs> it's, it's, well, I think I was surprised just because, I mean, you know, I, I'm familiar with your work and, and you've, you've been involved in like, you know, the, the fucking highly successful Binding of Isaac. So to me, I mean, you're like a, you're like a, you're like a seasoned industry, industry fucking professional guy. And so like for you to be watching our, our, our rinky dink little shit, you know, us all like us all struggling, <laughs> yeah. barely no barely known artists over here. You it's know, horrifying. <laughs> it is horrifying. The thought of the thought of anyone watching my channel, of anyone being a fan of me, is just the, it's my worst nightmare. Really, uh, one of the, one day I'm gonna <laughs> go back in time and I'm gonna erase my channel from the picture like Marty McFly. That's my goal as a YouTuber. <laughs> that we all look forward to that day. Uh, but uh, so our topic in general is gonna be indie games, but really it's just an excuse to talk about Florian and. Uh, his work, and I'm, I'm really curious about his experience in the industry, because he's very much an indie guy, uh, and he's made a bunch of cool shit over the years. I don't know about you guys, but as soon as I heard he was going to be on, I, I moved my ass straight on over to ComicsGames.com and checked out all the shit he's made over the years. And uh, it was pretty great. Embedded right on the website is Binding of Isaac, that you can just fucking play for free, fuck paying for it, right? Well, the, the demo oh. version, right? Yeah, that's probably yeah. one of the reasons oh, why it got okay. so successful is because there's a free demo that everyone can play on the internet, on the Newgrounds. Mm, mm. 
Got I, did play, of I did play the demo on Newgrounds before I, I ever... Yeah, I, I played the demo on Newgrounds. I honestly didn't like the demo because it was pretty limited. But then, like, when mm -hmm. I saw the real oh, game and I saw all the shit that's, like, in it, I... All was, the I literal mean, I, shit that's it. <laughs> all, yeah. all oh, literal so shit. literal. <laughs> uh, you know, and I was I was really big into, into roguelikes at the time. And, uh, like, I was playing... I was deep, deep in the well of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup at that time of my life. Was and, that before uh, you played Isaac? I thought it was afterward. Oh, no, I definitely was... I was, I was playing uh, Stone hmm. Soup before <coughs> I found Isaac. But, yeah, and I saw Isaac, and, I, and so I had to fucking jump on it. Yes. And, uh, well, let's just... Uh, go and, ahead, and by go, the way, I should, I should just say that I have definitely played probably hundreds of hours of Isaac. I, I feel safe in saying that about myself, too. What were you saying, yeah. Gib? Uh, I was just going to say, like, um, I think everyone here has played Binding of Isaac, at least the first one. I never mm -hmm. really got into it, uh, so I won't really have, like, you know, questions about it. But um, I do understand mm -hmm. it's pretty great. Like, I, I've seen people have a lot of fun with it. And I do like roguelikes in general. Just one, like, mm. one of the biggest things about it is that I like watching people play it more than playing it myself almost because I can see them get trolled by my game and it's glorious. Yeah, dude. I was <laughs> like watching all, like, on. I was like watching all these, on, all, Sorry. God sorry. damn it, Ben! <laughs> I was watching <laughs> on. it on uh, on your channel, uh, which uh, Game Squid on YouTube, and I was watching a, a, a game you were doing um, with uh, some guy I don't know, a friend of yours, um, who was in a couple of the videos, and he did this this amazing run as uh, it wasn't like it was a new character I had never seen before because I haven't kept up with every single update but it's like the last one you unlock it's like this weird devil angel baby thing and uh, like just get all the fucking power-ups he got I mean it was such an unbelievable beast just demolishing that game completely uh, it's so satisfying I had played a bunch of rounds uh, just to g get myself back into it so I'd remember what playing the fucking game was like and I fucked up real bad but it's so glorious to watch people get those like runaway successful runs and he oh, got yeah. all the way to like this new area called the void that I'd never seen before and beat this guy uh I don't know, some big white motherfucker who was like the new final double triple boss. Oh, it's it's so great. I, I love that kind of shit. That's there, there, Binding of Isaac's such a great there, game. Yeah, um I i n I'd never heard of the void either. I was playing it back yeah, in new. back in back in the rat like the early Wrath of the Lamb. Yeah, that, that's the the very newest DLC they made for Afterbirth. Uh mm -hmm. Rebirth, Afterbirth Plus it is called, and it has that right. stuff in it. So that's Right. Yeah. So I let me let me let me complain. Let me complain about the new about the remakes about about Rebirth. Oh, and, and this Afterbirth. was a big reason we wanted Ben here, so we could complain about the new one that Florian well, is not oh, involved great. with, and just talk about how much he loves the original. <laughs> well, to, well, I do. I, I want do to hear fucking, about it. I do fucking love the original. I mean, I mean, game. I have played a little bit of Rebirth, and like gameplay wise, it seems pretty much the same, which is mm -hmm. fine. Uh, just, you know, there's a lot more shit in there, which is also always cool. But like, all right, there's a bunch of things that really piss me off, which is the the pixel aesthetic. I don't get I don't get why it was done. I really liked, you know, Edmund's hmm. original like hand drawn wobbly thing. I, I thought it fit the game, the tone of the game way better. Um mm -hmm. and the the fucking cutscenes look like ass in the new they version. They do look like they, ass. Gotta they look like that. they mm -hmm. look like ass and not even in a way that makes sense. Like not only <laughs> do they look worse than the original cutscenes in the original version, they also they look worse in a way that fits the new visual style even less. Yeah, oh, I, perfect. I, 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 it's it's really <laughs> dumb. They but, feel a uh, very outsourced to me. Like they feel separate from the rest of the game almost because they're that. I don't know. They, they're just unpleasant in their difference in aesthetics from every other I mean, thing about Isaac. In my, I mean, I got you know. I got really close to getting platinum god one mm. once, and then my save got erased, or I oh. I got a new computer. Yeah, yeah. And so then I got the game again in uh, Wrath of the Lamb, and got really close to getting platinum god again, <laughs> but then my save got erased again. And so by that time, I was like, you know what? I think I I think I'm done with Isaac. And so uh, oh Rebirth no, was don't be done with Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Re Rebirth, Rebirth was out right after that, and I didn't, I didn't pick up Rebirth because at the time I was like, Bleh. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, I tried to get back into Rebirth as well when it came out, just because you know all the new content. But I, I also just felt I had, I had reached the depths of what I was getting out of Isaac uh, in terms of. This you know, is my, I enjoyment. just got was so frustrated getting screwed out of Platinum God twice. But, but again, <laughs> I want to reiterate though, I love this game and played it for literally hundreds, if not thousands, of hours well, for that, an entire that year. That brings me to a, a very important question for Florian. Um, do you still make money off of Rebirth somehow? 
Did you get I'm, that? Did that, that got cut off a little bit? It did get cut, cut off. Fuck off. Sorry. Uh, well, we, we yeah, really Florian. shouldn't be talking about money too much. That would just just wouldn't be good, I think. So. Oh, that's half of my questions. I. Have. Well, oh, what, no. about, what about just in general? I, I was oh, curious. God, it's did, just did gonna you, be. Do you have uh, any I'm incredible okay. rich? Is that what you wanted to ask? Me? Oh no, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm not curious about that at all. I'm just wondering if you saw do- like Penny One from Afterbirth yeah. at all, since you were such a major component of making the damn thing. Is, I, just, is that is that something you're okay to talk about? Yeah. Just a little bit. I, I get a little money. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Great. Okay. okay. That was that was the number one thing I wanted to know. I'm, okay. I mean, that, I mean, it just stands to reason because like you right. fucking you know built the original thing. It would be pretty fucked up if you were just like well, I don't. Cut that's off from the that's why I wanted to know. That's exactly why I wanted to know because it would be fucked up if he was cut off. So I had to know if he was uh you know. It's not but I sure that would even be possible to just cut me off right there. But yeah, it, it well, didn't happen. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I, well, I'm imagining, I'm imagining like some, like you know, a fucking Gabe Newell comes in and like a big, in a big, in a big, yeah, in a big yeah. like shoulder padded suit, smoking a cigar, and says, "We're buying you out, Florian." Here yeah, I mean, I had kind of had that dollars. fear. Just, we brought a dump truck of money to the front of your house, and we're gonna fucking cave your house in by pouring. It. It's gonna be an, it's gonna be a truly ironic death. Oh God! <laughs> it's just like when I've Minecraft was enough. sold for a million, uh, for a billion dollars. Even. Two two billion dollars, as I recall. Insane. Two billion. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Because it's like it's like a Minecraft is like a platform in itself that people yeah, use yeah. for all kinds of bullshit. I've I've just heard enough industry horror stories that I I wanted to be sure that we're not uh that you know. Like that, that talk. Well, I guess the fact that you're so willing to talk about Isaac would 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 suggest that you have an amicable relationship with the game still. Yeah. Oh yes, my greatest pride, or maybe. <laughs> that's great. That's I'm so glad that that's that that's the case. The only it's thing that a... bothers me is that they made the pixel art just like Ben said, but. Mm. It's, I, it's, I still it's, I don't I don't get it. I don't get why that decision was was it to make I, it look dude, more like fuck, a video game? I'm shitting myself. I'm shitting <laughs> was, my was it to, what, was it oh, to make no. it look more like fuck. a video game? Jesse's That's like an Isaac know. character in real life. <laughs> yeah. It's great. It's he great. really is. Oh no, he got the He lives, he lives pill. in the basement. It's a nightmare down there. It's full of piss and mm. and mold and mildew and it's oh a my nightmare God, for he, everyone. He is. He's been Isaac, the, he fled, I, Isaac he fled is his... in many ways the, the true story of my actual life. <laughs> so, oh, whoa. Have you been inspired what by if... Isaac in such a way? <laughs> I like to think Isaac was inspired by Jesse's real life. Oh no. <laughs> what if we had like a PCP version of Isaac? Like a mod with all the guys of us. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be you great. You know, I There's... played I played an Undertale mod of Isaac once. That yeah. Was, I, played a, I played a Homestuck mod once, and it was neat. Oh, it's totally doable. It's totally doable. Anyways. Oh, Some, somebody, somebody get on, on that. Somebody out there who knows shit. <laughs> Florian, you, get on it. <laughs> <laughs> My precious time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're, we're taking it all. We're taking it all, baby. So anyways, so, Edmund just wanted mm-hmm. that rebirth would look different and he didn't want them to trace his art in any way and he, he wanted it to be his uh, its own art style so he he passed mm-hmm. them into making this this pixel art style <laughs> so he had so to actually convince them to do it this way well they, they gave him a, a bunch of uh mm-hmm. what do you what i call it uh like different Low choices jobs. Different yeah options. choices it's like, yeah yeah it's like when someone when you pick out colors for your home it's like it was like that, I suppose. Mm. So, man, that okay. So, but okay. he, but he just wanted it to look different. Yes, very different. I can sort no. of understand that, I suppose. I, yeah, I guess it makes sense. But but Rebirth is still pretty good. It it plays well enough, unless you record it, in which it, case it, it, it lacks for it me. It plays but great. Other other oh, than yeah. that, it's it's really good for for, it, for it, not it recording. Felt, it felt it felt it felt like the old game, but expanded, which is pretty good. Yeah, can't. It's hard to argue about uh, the the cool new content, and that that's I, um, that's all very enjoyable. I want to ask about like the the initial development of Isaac because I heard it took like two months. Like you just hashed that thing out real quick. What was yeah, that about like? about three months. It was insane. There was so much development and and creativity <laughs> going on, and then we released a completely broken game. And then o- only <laughs> years later, it's it's it, it's only 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 very broken still, but not not unplayably broken. So at last, perfect. <laughs> That's, man, that's awesome. I, I was wondering, I really wanted to talk about, since I'm a programmer <laughs> myself, definitely not uh, on, on the level of complexity and stuff you do, but uh, 
all, all I was just wondering what a nightmare it was to program all the little things in there. Like one thing that I was thinking about was must have been tricky to get the uh, you know those how bombs when they explode next to a rock they make a little platform appear uh, you know in that in that hole. hole. Yeah, was well, was were things like that uh, a nightmare to make or, or are you just able to do this kind of stuff easily? Well, back then it was certainly very hard for me. I think I've, oh, yeah. I've learned a lot over the the time now, but still haven't mm -hmm. released any game. <laughs> were you a were you a rookie developer at the time? Well, not not exactly. I started hobby programming when I was twelve because mm -hmm. because I was a nerd and and such. So <laughs> get out of here! So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't abide those kind of folks around here. Oh God. <laughs> so I made like 20 different small flash games over the years before Isaac and then I've hardly made any since because I finally fulfilled my dream of being able to do nothing all day and not have to yeah. worry about Fantas money. That's the dream, that man. The That's dream. the dream. That is By the, the way, we all yeah. speak everyone in this uh, everyone in the PCP, we all need to figure out like how to find something we could do with residual pay. That'd yeah. be that's, nice. That's, what we're, that's the golden goose we're all missing out on, clearly, is is, uh, is residuals. Hey, I, since we were bringing up uh, your, your old games, I wanted to mention a few that I enjoyed from your uh, from your page. Oh, uh, sweet. I, I played, I, played I, I don't know if this was the C word, but on your page is just cunt, which you also made that's, with Edmund. That exists. Loved that game. It was I, The art was beautiful, and it was simple not, and whoa. fun. I have seen it. I have not played it. Go, to, it. go to comicsgames.com. It's oh, great. Oh, no. hang on. Hang on. Um, did you make... Oh, God. I'm going to be so embarrassed if this is wrong. But did you make Triacnid? I did, actually. Yes. I fucking loved Triacnid. Oh, I played God. that shit, like, at least, at <coughs> least five times Wait, back there's, on, on New Friends. There, <laughs> there's a game called Cunt? How can I play it? Go, go to comics <laughs> magical dash, game comics with a k dash games dot com. It's you go know to the what I've section. heard is when you play the game of cunts, you win or you die. <laughs> <laughs> this is very uh, correct. Yes. There was another game that I really. This was the one I played the most out of all the ones on your page. Not that I play every single one, but but seed where you play as a, a, a dude wearing a cowboy hat riding a sperm through like downtown Manhattan as like the the army comes out and tries to kill you and there's this awesome mechanic in there where when you you control yourself with your uh uh I think with oh no you you just continually move forward and then use the arrow keys to like rotate yourself uh but uh th there's this great thing you can do with your the tail of the sperm which is when they're shooting missiles at you which happens constantly if you whip the tail around really fast you can deflect the missiles away i just thought that was the tightest fucking shit and that God, that seemed like it must have been really hard to do. There must have been, like, some state you enter when you move, like, at a certain speed or you rotate at a certain speed that, like, it triggers that effect to happen on missiles when they hit. Man, that was awesome. It was super cool. Oh, man. Really I like that game. I loved doing that game. There was an animation called Sperm Rider where, mm -hmm. where there was this very sperm and then... Was that in, like... Like a pencil style. Yes, it, yes was. it was. Just and like, I loved it. Just like the game, because then I went and contacted oh, yeah. the artist, and I did. I convinced him to make a game. Or did he convince me? But I, I definitely messaged him <laughs> first. It, it was so cool because he made all this pencil drawn art for it, and and then he could just ride around on your sperm. <laughs> you know why oh, you're shit, a hero I to do me, Florian? That now that I met, now that you Sweet. Mentioned. You're a hero to me, Florian, because you've done what I'm increasingly getting into doing, and it's that you, you, you have, like, a vision for a project, and you make it, and you outsource whatever you need to outsource that you don't personally have the skills to do, and it's specifically art for this stuff, and you just, you don't let those things get in your way, right? Like, a lot of people might give up. Like, when I made games back in the day, it was always a big fucking headache to, to worry about art. And I had my sister do it for some. She was garbage at the time, so it's terrible. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, Bell, Bell, uh, Bell really has Bell, some yeah. unbelievable oh, fucking shit. background art. No! I know, I know. No! What? what? I tried to play the cunt. I tried to play the game <laughs> of cunts. <laughs> but he died. Win, so but I he died. died. <laughs> Did a bug crawl up your dick and made you explode? I did. I don't know what was happening. I was. <laughs> it's a beautiful game, though. Everyone, go check it out. It looks. It looks wonderful. I, so, I, I highly. I highly fucking recommend Triacne. That game I didn't play was that one. Jam. I'm going to. It's so, so Florian. It's so great. I I take it that um that because you know 
Edmund McMillan is rather well known for the sort of sc- scatological humor of games like Isaac and, mm-hmm. and all his other games. But I take it that you also have a f- similar sense of humor even without him around. I made about three games that are that have sperm as a main character. <laughs> That's more than your average person, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. I, I call it the sperm trilogy. <laughs> The most, sperm most, trilogy. most people round out around one, one and a half. <laughs> yeah, you're ahead of the bell curve there. And I think only one of them I did with Edmund, but it might be two. I might, I might not remember oh. that right. That's great. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> it's just it, it helps me to understand why you're a fan of the PCP because this is exactly the kind of thing I'd expect uh, our fans to be making. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a podcast primarily about me shitting myself. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Hey. Uh, but uh, I was curious about one While thing. While my court of clowns talks amongst <laughs> themselves every uh, if, if, if I'm not totally fucked up in my timeline, uh, your getting together with Edmund would have been... Um, oh, wait, you know, you know what I was, gonna, I was going to say? Getting together for Binding of Isaac would have happened after the runaway success of Super Meat Boy. Uh, which, I mean, he was already getting fairly well known, but that was like his big breakout success. And I was going to ask, like, how did you guys meet? But then I realized you had already done games before that point. So my whole question is retarded, so never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Little known <laughs> fact, I've actually do- been doing stuff with Edmund for a long time. In fact, he got me into game development at one point because... Oh I mean, my god. I mean, not, not precisely into game development, but he was a, a mm-hmm. mentor for me because I never knew that you could make money off games. I was just a little boy playing around with little... Yeah. Little... Yeah. He was the best kind that's, of mentor. That's the beautiful. The kind that teaches you how to make money. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. Such a God good man, dude. <laughs> he was your com- he was the communist to your Simone. What a beautiful thing. <laughs> he, he told me that I could go and get a, a sponsorship for my game, and then I, I, I think I got five hundred bucks for for making a little game that was basically a remake of Pac Man, and it was Not bad. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I assume that's that's Pac over here. That's the one. I All think that's right. the first one I I properly released. It, it plays horribly, <laughs> but I I did the art in it at least so. It's all me. Aww. Oh, that's beautiful. What a wonderful story. Uh, so I'm so happy <laughs> to hear that your relationship with Edmund is still positive. I, I just I didn't know, and that's great. That's oh great. yeah, we started doing podcasts on my channel <laughs> as well. Oh really? I had no idea. I have to go listen to those. He keeps telling me he'll be around, but then he he keeps getting busy. The last excuse he was he was that he got sick from his baby, so. Aww, aww, <laughs> baby <laughs> man. He's, he's, a, he's a little baby man. Um, speaking speaking of your of your YouTube channel, um, I, well, I guess I watched I watched it and I saw it and I was just just like I was surprised to hear that you were uh, listening to the PCP, being being a successful dude as you are. I was surprised that you had fucking ventured into the the cesspool of humanity that is fucking no. YouTube YouTube no. video content. Uh, what, oh, what, yeah. what 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 uh, what what brought that about? What uh, what urged that that move? Yes, that's right. Not only am I an inspiration to you, but also the other way around because I really no want to make video Aww. games. Uh, no, uh, videos, YouTube videos. Yes. And first, I started out. I just wanted to do lazy let's plays, like mm-hmm. Northern Line or whoever. They just upload daily, and it's just them playing. But mm-hmm. now I. Now that I've seen what you guys do, it's more interesting to to attempt to do it that way. Though I obviously don't have as much time, so... Well, I I mean, I do have time, I just have to work on games. (laughs) That's beautiful. That's beautiful to hear, my friend. (coughs) Sweet. Very, Very gratified. Are you? That, uh, that we could do that for also you. Also terrifying. It yeah. is. It is. <laughs> but I want to let's let's just jump into uh, the other major thing here. Uh, so you've got a new game that's percolating. That's work. That's that's being cooked as as we speak. And it's called Poor Mouse. And everyone should go check out the trailer for it on uh, on his Game Squid YouTube channel. So uh, I think every, I had everybody here watch the trailer. But would you describe to us what uh, the the main thrust of that game is going to be? Oh yes, so you are a mouse, and it's very dangerous, even though you can fly <laughs> with your ears, because a magical mouse. You still have to Dude, fight. Dude, that's the tagline right there. Very dangerous, even though you can fly. That's a good <laughs> Perfect. <one. laughs> mm-hmm. So I, I, I wanted to make it so it's basically like Super Mario meets Dark Souls, but I, I'm sure I, I'll completely <laughs> fail, and it'll just turn out to be the next No Man's Sky. 
Oh, God. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I mean, Super Mario meets Dark Souls is about as marketable a premise as you can fucking even even yeah. think of. So it sounds especially like you got onto a, a strong start there. That's, that's true, especially with a cute animal in the mix. It's mm-hmm. perfect. Never hurts. Never though, hurts. Though so it I, is debatable I, I, because the mainstream games, they're not really about Dark Souls or platforming, so... It, it's not mainstream marketability, but I suppose indie marketability should be pretty good. You know you yeah. know what your problem is with that game? You need a couple more white guys. That's what you need in that game. <laughs> couple <laughs> couple of white guys. That's what's missing from that you game. Just, you yeah, just I don't, need I don't to... see a white beefcake space marine anywhere. Yeah. It's, it's messed up, man. <laughs> I you can't relate. You just need it to be uh, Dark Souls-like enough for uh, Vadi Vidya to make a Dark Souls-like video on it, and then you'll have a an, an instant oh, I wish. market there. <laughs> <sighs> that guy still exists, huh? Yeah, yep, God, apparently. Still, got, got tired of that guy a year or ten ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's still making so, content. It's fairly entertaining. <laughs> I thought he only existed on like on Dark Souls Eve night. <laughs> when a new Dark out. Souls is about to be made. He that's comes that's out true. When the, when the blood moon is full. Yeah. That is true, but it's because they've been making Dark Souls three DLC. So he, so it is still Dark I, Souls yeah, night. I guess uh, I mm-hmm. forgot because I haven't played anything since yeah. Dark Souls two. Ugh, you fool, you poor yeah. bastard. Anyway, oh, and Lauren here's a big too, Dark yeah, Souls three terrible. fan. So. <laughs> what wasn't it? Wasn't it though? I got I, this is my this it is was. my Dark Souls two. This is my Dark Souls two story. When uh, I got to the queen and I tried to shoot her with an arrow and there was an invisible wall and yeah. I was like, this is this is no Dark Souls. I'm done. <laughs> That's oh right. shit. Dark no, Souls one. Dark let me Souls. shoot. Dark Souls one. Let me shoot Gwen Gwendolyn. Fuck this game. Guinevere, you fool. Guinevere. Yes, yes, yes. Well, it also let me shoot Gwendolyn, but whatever. That, that, that's true. You know yeah. about this bug where you could shoot Manus from the DLC f- from... I, dude, I did that. I fucking did that shit. Wait. I killed him. What? What the fuck? What? Yeah, you can shoot Manus from outside the boss arena if you aim it right. No shit. Yeah, it's, it's nuts. A very, it's a very pussy way to win. <laughs> Dark Souls <laughs> sucks. I, I, is what I'm I know. Trying to I know. Say. Thanks to I know. Thanks to Matthew Matosis that you can shoot the man eaters in in or one of the man eaters in Demon Souls, but I never played Demon Souls, so what? Buy oh, a fool. ton of arrows. Stand where he can't reach you. Shoot at him for hours and hours. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now he's dead. Yeah. Demon Souls. Who was that Demon sexy boy Souls. who said that <laughs> once? I, I, I just watched I, that recently. Th- just just earlier today, I walked into the living room and Davu was playing Demon Souls and I started saying Demon Souls yeah. Demon Souls. And, he, and, he, and he joined in and it was a fun family time. Demon hey. Boys Demon Boys <laughs> from oh. from Soft Boys. Oh that's everything not, good I did I did seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Florian with binding of Isaac. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Got him. We're has been hack. brothers. Has been brothers. Has, <laughs> has been, been brothers. brothers. Has, has been, been brothers. Has been brothers. <laughs> I'll be. I'll be someone again. I'll show you. <laughs> yes, please, please do. I mean, hey, I was curious. So you're working on uh, multiplayer for uh, for poor mouse. That well, I, seems I'm... like a goddamn nightmare. Is oh, it a nightmare? It is, it is pretty yeah. much terrible. Mm-hmm. I, before I started making poor mouse, I, I was going to make a multiplayer game, but then. Oh boy. It, it was completely fucked up because I couldn't get a single thing right, <laughs> so I cancelled it. And then I worked on Poor Mouse, but now, after many years of learning about Unity and multiplayer, I think I finally yeah. have a chance of making it work this time. <laughs> hey, uh, quick question, what was that cancelled game about? Oh, yes, what a secret. It's about gladiators. Was it about sperm? And that's gladiators. all I'll tell you. Sperm gladiators, I assume. Oh, no. Not, um, not dick how, fighting. <laughs> how so? How long? How long has poor mouse been in development now? I think more than two years already. And two I, years. I, I was supposed to make it come out on early access, but then I delayed because I was going to make multiplayer instead, which would take oh, yeah. me forever. And it means I can't release the game until it's at least a lot better than. It needs to have a, a really good multiplayer mode so that people can instantly get into the multiplayer mode. And mm-hmm. not just be in the early access and then lose interest because multiplayer requires a fan base to to be active r- around yeah. the clock. <laughs> oh, and you were telling me just the other day how much you love the arena in Dark Souls Three and the kind of instant multiplayer you can do. Is that what you're looking for to get, if possible, for uh, poor Mouse? Yeah, I, I really do play Dark Souls a lot now, 
this mm-hmm. DLC with the the arena. It's amazing, and I I want to make it so that there's a a bandit mode in poor mouse mm-hmm. where you can kill other mice and then they drop their seeds and you can use the seeds as a weapon. But but also, <laughs> y- you need to you need to collect seeds and whoever gets fifty seeds first wins. It would be awesome. Yes, <laughs> thanks. So like, so like, okay. So so gameplay in poor mouse. Uh, it's like, so it's like platforming, but with like gliding and and there's combat, and and what's like, okay. So it's a competitive multiplayer scene where you where you like compete for seeds. Like you run around and you get you steal each other's seeds, what have you. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to paint myself a you picture. Know, of what, can of can what you can you relay it in terms that we understand? Say it's the Dark Souls of X, and then we'll understand what that means. <laughs> oh boy! Well, I already did that. He <laughs> did. He did. In fact, yes, um, the Dark Souls of Mario. <laughs> oh shit! You're right. <laughs> uh, so, how much of that uh, two-year development time is just because you moved to 3D? Because it looks like this is a fully 3D game. Well, it was now. always going to be 3D. But yeah, you I, hack. Not oh, every game. I, I mean, moves I mean, from 2D moving to 3D. I didn't. Right. I didn't mean oh, I get it. that game. I meant uh, you in general. Yeah, actually, it took me forever to to learn that. Oh my god, it is so hard. <laughs> but then mm. again, I I'm probably just really bad because I was just a young boy of 21 years when I made Isaac, and I only knew how to program in Flash and nothing else. And so mm. that's why the performance of Isaac is so poor because it's made in Flash. So moving away from that alone was hard, but then yeah, yeah. moving into 3D is difficult all, all the more because you would not believe how hard it is to make the 3D rota- rotations work. They have a whole new type of rotation called quaternions, mm-hmm. and they all, they're pretty much not even understandable. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, what's, what's the name of the rotations? Quaternions. Quaternion? Yes. I don't know. There's also a I, I'm, a, I'm a math I'm a math guy. I thought Does I might like know, I thought I might be able to flex my math nuts a little bit, but I guess not. You might Does have it like heard rotate of you along the fourth dimensional axis or something. That's what it sounds like. Yes, I think somewhat. There's a, a different one. is called Euler angles, and that's just three axes, and it it's hmm. just three different numbers, and that's understandable. But then there's, it gets translated into quaternions, and that's how the computer understands it. Oh my god. So it's a lot more complex that way. You know, I've actually done a little bit of developing in Unity myself. Uh, before uh, I started YouTube with Ben, I was working on a, hey, on a 2D platformer me. in uh, yeah with, with my buddy um, in uh, in Unity, and I we we definitely stopped short of anything, and it wasn't 3D. But uh, I'm I'm a real I'm a real boy too. I'm a real boy too. <laughs> a little bit, oh, a little bit should, of a real boy you over show here. Show me that game. I made games. I it you know, him. I probably could. Uh, it's it's got some levels. It's got some levels. Yeah. What what Come. what do you what do you? Hello? Did someone just leave the the call? Mumkey joined, but he's muted. Mumkey. Oh right, he's probably gonna start recording himself. You can jump in if you want, Mumkey. I don't give a fuck about anything. <laughs> I made a game once. I made a video game what on RPG it? Maker for Steam. Oh boy. You go. You you play as a guy, me. Mm-hmm. And I go, there's a tree, and you go up to the tree, and you can click on the tree, and the tree says it's a tree or some shit. I don't know. But that's as mm-hmm. far as I got. What but I did it. Know. I made it What work. does it say? <laughs> what does I the goddamn know. tree say, Jesse? It says, he says something I don't remember, but you can read a tree, you can read signs. <laughs> oh, I know what it says. It says, it says, I wish I was a Fluttershy. Oh, I got him. Oh. I got him. Oh, the ponies. <laughs> Oh, yeah, bringing right. the ponies in, bringing that, bringing it's that old It's a pony that game, saw. of course. I should have known. Yep. That's why oh it was never God. completed because I didn't <laughs> know to make it a pony game. Yeah, oh, you would have yeah. gotten all the fan funding, dude. How, you messed how, up. How big of a brony are you, Florian? How, I yeah, mean, we're, we're all fucking deep in. Oh the no, you saw me out. That's the most important yeah. question of all. <laughs> how, how many oh, yes. Daki Makaras of the main six do you own? <laughs> None, but I. None. Yeah. What? I, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 Absolutely do not, reprehensible. I do not believe in such childish material goods, but oh I, yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm very much into ponies. No, me, 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 me neither. Me neither. That's that's what I was gonna say too. It's much, <laughs> oh, yes. more, it's, it's much more mature to to play games to to make games where you're a, a penis trying to fuck a giant cunt. <laughs> 
exploding in space, you know. But it is the we, finest we, we have art. a higher level of, uh, <laughs> of of maturity here. But anyways, <laughs> it's it's good that you brought up the ponies because I was wondering, did you notice all the the pony references in Isaac? <laughs> of course, there, of course. I know that the, there's the, the the space bar item, right? The, the unicorn, the unicorn horn. horn. It turns you invincible. I'm sorry, it's mm -hmm. been a while since I played. Yes, and they're all me. I did that. Really? <laughs> I you, you I did. Put that in. You absolute bastard. I knew it. You were a pony all along. <laughs> that unicorn horn has saved me many a run. Oh, it's really bad, though. <laughs> it's, it's, it, well, not, I, it's, it's not the, the best. Well, it's like wait. A, a starting item. I, li I like it because it, it lets you get over, like, you know, spike doors and stuff. The problem, it's, yeah, that, it's, it's, it's got, got its some uses. utility. Got but uh, the problem sure. with that thing is anytime you're using it in a boss, like, it, you can deal damage by running into things with it, but you never can, I could never properly time when it ends, so I'd usually just be mashing up against a boss when my invincibility ran out, and I would take damage, and I blame you for all of those. Thank you, Florian. <laughs> Dry <laughs> hump that boss. Get hit. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Dude, wouldn't, like, a pony Jackie Macro be, like, sideways, dude? Well, sure. How would you hug a sideways? What uh, is that even? It's you know the, the body pillow. Pil the body pillow. Oh you know God! What be, you know yeah. what be appropriate? You know how ponies have legs? Uh, if they had oh, wow. legs off the side. Oh, you know what they should do? You know those big pillows that kind of have the, the, the parts that extend around that you can kind of put your arms on when you're leaning back on it? There should be a pony one like that with the legs. You know, with the legs. But you know where would you put about? the pussy? <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Think, good, Nate, you stupid oh, bitch. Oh, I'm sorry. You You'd have to add fuck. that. That's an add-on. That's an add-on for the pillow. You got to buy that separately. <sighs> Naive Flo boy. No, you didn't hey, think hey, of hey, where Florian. to put the pussy. Hey, Florian, what do you think about the best game ever, Undertale? Oh, boy, I was going to say, your very first podcast was about the best game ever. It and was. now we're talking about it again. The Binding of Isaac. Perfect. Oh yeah! <laughs> I, you know, wait, wait, wait! Yeah. Didn't, didn't I? Didn't I bring up Binding of Isaac? You did. In you said it was game? your favorite game of was, all time, it, and then you really? changed your mind it in the very same podcast. I it's did. amazing what a, what an arc you have gone through, and then you just <laughs> went and, and went to suck Underdale's cock again, just like I everyone. I, I, I remember in in the best game ever podcast, I brought up Isaac as one of the games I've gotten the most fucking enjoyment out of, just because yeah. of the amount of fucking you know time I spent on it and you know loved a lot and stuff I, I can think of at least five or six games which Ben has referred to as <laughs> his favorite game of all time there's many different ways it's like it's the, the the best game ever conundrum is 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 like a jewel that, that you you, tw you twist hither and thither and and mm. the light and the light reflects into your eyes from all the different ways and angles what anyway um, how do you how do you, how do you like Undertale, Florian? Tell the 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 greatest game regale ever made. us with the tale of how you love Undertale. I just want to hear about Undertale. Undertale. <laughs> I'm, I'm just here to talk about Undertale. Oh boy, Undertale! Have I got a tale for you? Yeah. Cool. A very short tale, in fact, because I watched Earth. Video Game Donkey's video about Undertale, oh, yeah. and then I decided oh, yeah. I'd never have to play it, oh, and so boo. I never did. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a shame because it's a good game and it's pretty short. But whatever, do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> I mean, we un Undertale. I haven't I haven't seen Donkey's video on it, but like Undertale is the worst fucking game to let's play of all time, except for that one time that Flowey calls you out. That's great. Everything else about Undertale is just makes for a miserable let's playing experience. Oh my god, I'm so emotionally connected. <sighs> Incidentally, speaking of let's plays, I think. I think we owe it to Florian to at some point do a better Binding of Isaac Let's Play. I, because I was not too happy with my performance in well, that. Well, it's I not spent, that. I spent I spent like twenty minutes in the fucking uh, game room trying to fuck <laughs> trying to fuck around with. Dude, with you're just trying to optimize. Important. You're just trying to optimize. I, That's how you, know, you win. I, everyone, yeah. Every, I'm, I fucking love that shit. I love I love nitpicking and mm -hmm. fucking just 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 fucking around with the odds and just. Spending spending five spending an hour to save five minutes and trying mm -hmm. to eke out every every possible advantage I can. It's it's actually fun for me to you do things what? like fuck around with the game room and the heart. Now's an machines. appropriate time to tell you, Digi, that you are as big sack as shit for not appreciating the 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 hard work, the, the optimization that you have to put in if you want return on your investment <laughs> of your runs and Isaac. You have to do the grind and you're what? a hack fraud. How about for not how about it. I mean like sometimes you can get a run where yeah. you just get lucky 
and you get good stuff, so you don't have to grind. You make yeah. your own so luck. If you find yourself, yeah, your if you find yourself luck, in a you? run, you, you if can... you find yourself in a run where you need that level of luck in order you to win, you need every time. Just you, you scrap your that odds. run and go to a good run. What are you, you talking you can, about? You grinding? Can, Since you when can you fucking, grind in Isaac, you just you fucking, can fucking go around. Max and go ben found a way. You can they fucking just play the arcade. That's all. Yeah. You you. If you know how to play smart and like conserve your resources and like you know when when is it best to use your keys and bombs and right, stuff and like right. you know how what do you have to do like are you looking for oh, a devil yeah, room? Oh yeah, you did that really well. What do you what do you what do you yeah what do you got to do to make a devil room happen? You know like these are the kind of things that you got to keep in mind. To, you, know, you can't guarantee yeah. anything, but you can maximize your odds of getting a good run. Mm -hmm, it's not it's mm -hmm. it's not all luck because to a certain extent you can control the odds if you That's know right. what you're doing. Well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm not saying it's all luck. I'm saying that if you can have runs where you just get lucky from the outset and then you do better throughout the game, then when you have a run that's like shit at the outset and then you have to grind for 15 minutes, scrap that run and go keep, keep killing yourself well, till you find well, a good like run. Grinding you... can make the difference. And in any case, as I said, fucking eking, eking out a barely, eking out a victory from the jaws of defeat is just fucking yeah. way more fun than. Yeah, I, that's right. Yeah. You, if you, you sure. can give up on a run that doesn't look great, and that's perfectly acceptable, but it is always a good idea to put in the extra time and effort to, it you know, is, oh, grind no, oh, in whatever if, way if, is appropriate. If you get fucked, of course you can abandon a run. Like, I probably should yeah. have abandoned that run early on when I got... I, I think I got P, and I got some other thing mm -hmm. that was ranged down, and it was just, just a fucking bullshit setup from the get-go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, Polyphemus is one of the best items, but I think I actually nerfed oh. that in my, my latest... Well, yeah, that's right. Did I you got play P, that? I got P and Polyphemus, and it was just a terrible combination. Yeah, Polyphemus oh. didn't get, didn't used to give you a shot speed down, but now it does. By the way, have mm. you played the Eternal Edition? I, uh, I, don't, I don't think, think any I of us have. I don't think Eternal any of us have. Edition. How recent was that? Uh, one or two years, I never remember. But you definitely had it on in, in that video, you did. But you, you'd have to enable the hard mode for it to work because then you open yourself up for a whole new world of bullshit with all kinds of <laughs> champions that just do insane things that you wouldn't imagine and that was the best part about it you gotta yeah, try it yeah <laughs> i i was that eternal mode because like i booted yep. up steam because i wanted because i was i was like let's make it let's make a binding of isaac play let's do this podcast to binding of isaac and i i fi signed into my steam on digi's computer only to find oh shit i don't even have it on fucking steam i don't <gasps> where the where piracy the I, I guess I must have oh, fucking pirated it at some point, pirate. but you know what? But you know what? I made up for it because I bought the game just to record that fucking podcast. I paid my dues, kind That's of. That's a good pirate. <laughs> yeah. Now you're a privateer. I redeemed, I redeemed myself. Hey, I was curious about something. So one of the coolest things about Isaac is the ridiculous complexity of the different item variations that stack and cause all kinds of crazy effects. And I always imagined getting those to work properly and never completely fuck the game was one of the most challenging things to do. Is that accurate? Yes, it is, because I have completely it. failed at that. <laughs> for example, yeah. when you get Ipecac and you get mm -hmm. My Reflection, then... Oh, you, yeah. It kills you. Would you it would, you would expect that it would home back in on you and it would be annoying but you would not believe the level of how annoying it is because <laughs> for some reason the bullets glitched up really high so you couldn't see them mm -hmm. and then it would hit you out of nowhere <laughs> <laughs> really? oh so yeah how much how much okay here's a question i just thought up and i'm kind of interested in the answer to how much of like item interaction is like is is just emergent versus how much like Code, like how much it has to be specifically Ooh. coded about item interactions like 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 how much of that code is like is there like just for the interaction part versus how much is just like the item has its own behavior and the two just kind of the two just kind of modify the the tier the tiers or the game separately do you know what i'm saying well, ideally, you would have it so that most of the things would only be their own self-contained thing, and then they would automatically mm -hmm. stack with everything. But, yeah. of course, I did it completely wrong, because I had no <laughs> idea how big this game was going to turn out. So, when when I had... When Edmund told me there's an item that gives you double damage, I just, just said, if item, then double damage. Yep. But then... Yep. Then there were more and more items, so it got more and more confusing, and I never really had it set up so it would work so I had to 
redo all of that so that you could have multiple items that give you more damage without it being weird. You need some mm -hmm. sort of complex formula for calculating damage now, probably, or something. Indeed. Well, well, well there was... I, I know there's, like, the in-game menu that kind of shows your stats. It's like... like, like in, There's, like, a bar that fills up on the pause menu. But, like... I don't know, on most of my good runs, I would find that, like, I maxed out the bar. I would max out, like, the damage bar, and then, you know, the bar would... The, the bar continued infinitely, but, like, you couldn't really see it. Or, you know, like, 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 the bar itself would only show you so much, and then there would be tons of shit going on behind the scenes that was not, like, you know, visibly tracking on, on that stat screen. Or that's how it always felt to me. Yeah, the yeah, bar sure. isn't very accurate, and it was added no. after the fact, so... Oh, is it? it? it it's, it's more of a... I guess it it, it kind of determines how much damage one single tier does, but it's still mm -hmm. there's still things that 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 make it more complex. Like when you get the, the lump of coal that makes the tiers grow steadily larger. Mm -hmm. yeah. that for example doesn't even show up in that stat. I always had there was something I was always clear on. Um, do your your tiers automatically turned red when you got past a, thir a certain damage threshold, or was that like an item visual, an item specific visual thing? I always felt like when my tiers got strong enough, even if there was no item that was specifically made the tiers red, they would turn red anyway. Was I just fucking crazy? I I had it that way, but they removed it in uh, in rebirth because apparently yeah. that wasn't the intended way of Edmund. Mm. <laughs> so I guess mm. I just made that randomly and Edmund, that son of a fucking bitch. You know, let's <laughs> just talk some shit about oh, that no. guy, that piece of that shit. Don't you just hate him? Tell us how you want him to die. Yeah. Tell us all the dirt. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us oh, hey. the deets. Hey Edmund, I'm sure you're listening right now. <laughs> the worst man who ever lived. Your words, not mine. He said it right here. You heard it. <laughs> the worst man of all time. Do you uh, think he'll listen to this, guy. actually? Well, he said I should send it to him, so probably. Hey, oh, hand, but, hand. But more hand. like, More like Deadmond, because you're going to kill him, is what you said <laughs> just now. <laughs> hey, Edmund. Oh, no. hey, Ed hey, Edmund, leave us a comment. Patre Patreon.com slash, <laughs> Patreon <laughs> slash Ben Saint. Woo, yeah, I did it. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like even have a Patreon. You could just buy Isaac and I'll get money from that. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. And you'll get so a cool. better You can confirm that, that you make money every time we buy Isaac. Yeah, but I don't say how much. That's, that's <laughs> fair. That's fair. Um, so, uh, I, I was going to ask, um, you know, obviously you're, you're friends with Edmund, who's a, a sort of a superstar of the... Uh, of the indie gaming world. Do you have any uh, indie gaming friends or anything who you you uh, want to promote? Like, who you think deserve more attention? That's a great question. There's this there's this kid, uh, Phil Fish, I've been hearing a lot about recently. <laughs> I, uh, you know? <laughs> uh, oh, really? Was he in the news again? Uh, I Probably. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, I guess... There's that one guy who made Orbox C, which you can buy on Steam. He's a, a really good friend, and it's a good game, and no one has bought it, and it's a what? tragedy. What's the game? I never heard of it. Orbox C. It used to be a Flash game, but then he made a lot of levels and put it on Steam, and it's pretty good. It's possibly... We can put some links in the description, too. Or, if, uh, you or, know. Orbox C? Yes. Uh, O-R-B-O-X space C, right? Cool. Let's all yeah. buy it right Let's now! <laughs> Let's, like play. Uh, Let's play! Oh god, this I just like logged a... into Steam! I got all these gifts! People gave me games! What's happening?! Oh, it's, oh, a, no. it's like Christmas morning! Yeah! <laughs> Your oh, yeah. fans are, are you... finally caught up to you. Are you on Steam, Florian? Oh yeah, and by the way, like, are you on Steam and do you, do you play a lot of games in your spare time, or is all your time spent doing the dev side of things? Oh, I'm, I've been a procrastinator far before you guys. I've just <laughs> yeah. been playing games yeah. all day, all of sick. the days. Sick, sick bro. Sick, it bro. Is sick, it is sick, bro. Don't fucking patronize <laughs> no, me. No, but I'm, do, I'm just being But do I'm patronize me at patreon.com slash <laughs> no. God damn, this guy is savage. I'm so good. I'm so good at what oh, I man. do. Just turning a buck every time. <laughs> <laughs> rubs hands so together. So what are what are some of your uh, favorite games as of late? Any recommendations you have for us? Oh yes, there's certainly one that I've been playing and hating. And oh. I just can't <laughs> stop myself from playing and hating it. It's called Enter the Gungeon. Oh, it's the worst know. game and definitely the worst game. And you can't <laughs> stop playing it. It's 
it's. I saw it, you had a video called like how to improve uh, <laughs> into the gungeon or something. Like yep. Ooh, that sounds fascinating. Oh, I got a lot of hate for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Gun Gungeon's kind of similar to Isaac, isn't it? It's like another roguelike. Oh, it's, it's very similar, only that it's not bugged, but also <laughs> it, it's it's too hard. I, I cannot believe that there would be a game that's too hard, but it is. I always mm. assumed that the harder the better, but Enter the Gungeon proved me wrong. It's too wow. hard. <laughs> so, like, how does it feel knowing that you basically caused this this huge boom in roguelite games? Because I, I want to oh. say Isaac seems like the the flashpoint of this. For sure. Uh, oh, literally. <laughs> Flash. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That, that's, well, well, my question, uh, my follow-up question to that would be, do, do you agree with that? Like, I mean... Uh, the, yes. The I have created roguelike. It is true. On the <laughs> I. <laughs> yes. I mean, I, I, know it was, I know it was a thing... Before, like roguelike elements were already creeping into like other genres and like genre mixing before Isaac, but it, it, it has sure it, it has only grown it has only grown since then. Well, that's why that's why I said roguelite, like this genre of things that take roguelike elements and then you yeah. know apply some other game style to it. Like in the in the wake of Isaac, there's definitely been like an explosion of these. You know, <laughs> we've got like Risk of Rain and uh, uh, mm. FTL and. Mm. Um, uh, dance, dance, Crypt of the Necro Dancer, and all that. How do you f how do you feel about all those games? Are you a fan of the the roguelite genre? Well, I I, I do love roguelike very much, but the problem is that they're all filthy pixel art. I, I just wait for the day when someone will make a beautiful 3D roguelike game that doesn't mm. play like ass because I've only played <laughs> ones that that play like ass or they pixel art, but did there's you, not been one that didn't apply to these. Did you ever play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup? I did not, but I'm sure that looks and plays like ass. Um, <laughs> it does. <laughs> it, Shut up. It's, it's not too, it's 3D. Too basic. It's, it's too basic in fact, to play like ass. It is far, it's, it's it is not far ASCII, more... It's not ASCII, uh, but it basically might as well. Be. <laughs> ASCII, yeah. Yeah. great. Yeah. Um, what was that one? Uh, there was one 3D... Um, I, I love -like ASCII. Game. What are you talking about? It's pure. ASCII is, it ASCII is pure. <laughs> uh, it's just funny because it sounds like ass. Don't you understand? Oh, right. <laughs> Delegitimizing right. the entire ass. medium. It plays like <laughs> ass key. Sure, I gotcha. Very, very, very mature. Very mature. Oh yes. If only I could could poop and piss on everything. <laughs> yeah, then you'd be like Jesse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My Great. hero, me, pooping and peeing on everything <laughs> and everybody. Pooping Every and day! Peeing on everything. Pooping and peeing on everything. <laughs> That's the Pooping thing. Pooping and peeing, and here on I go. One, Pooping. two, three, and a. Ah! <laughs> I'm pooping! <laughs> <laughs> Shitting and crapping and crapping my pee! <laughs> oh, yes, pee style too. Perfect. Yeah! yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> he knows pee style. I know all your secrets. <laughs> Do you know butt chugger too? <laughs> I couldn't actually. I I got like one minute into that and then I couldn't. Oh, <laughs> what? Give it we all love butt chugger, dude. It's like maybe our I should give it a thing. try. You really oh, should. Please. It's, it's you gotta, butt chugger. You really gotta follow. Treasure. And you gotta <laughs> follow through to the end on butt chugger. And, and yeah. please, it's all about. And, and please leave a comment because I want to see. It's a coming it. of age <laughs> tale, much like the it Binding is. of Isaac. Oh boy, it is. But butt chugger has probably the most the most shockingly deep narrative of any retarded ass song you'll ever. Here. Mm. <laughs> oh, sweet! It's oh, great. It's by, great. It, by the way, let's let's plug your channel. Your your YouTube channel is Game Squid, right? Oh yeah, you gotta check it out. It's just like these guys, but with developer content. Oh man, freaking. Which is far more valuable and good. So go check that out. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the like, best it's content. Like, it's like what we do, but from someone who knows what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's right. It's actually. I'm. I'm curious. Have you done anything to promote your channel? Because it is shockingly low view counts, uh, considering. Oh, well, actually, it, it turned out. But when I started, it was just bullshit. It was just let's plays, and they weren't even good. And then my partner left, and I got someone else. <laughs> it, was, it, it didn't start out very well. And mm -hmm. whenever I made, when I made Isaac at first, mm -hmm. I I never made. I never promoted myself. In fact, I didn't even do interviews because I was so shy and basement dwelling. <laughs> so now that I want to be famous, I I have all these hurdles, and and I can only 
get my my fame drip fed from me by Edmund. When well, he I am delighted to be a part of that process in whatever, in whatever small amount. Yeah. Thanks. Oh yeah. Does does Ed, does Edmund help promote you? Oh yeah, occasionally. He definitely promoted the eternal update for a little bit, and, and people right. played it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then they decided it was bullshit. <laughs> what? And, and then they discovered that it was meant to be bullshit. <laughs> oh I good. See. I see. Aha. Uh -huh. So you're basically still like. That came out after Afterbirth, right? Like, you're still developing elements of the original Isaac, even while the new version's out? Yeah, I, I think I... Ah, when did I start on that? Was that before Rebirth came out or before Afterbirth came out? Anyways, I, I, I decided to delay it so that Rebirth could have its day or Afterbirth, but then mm -hmm. <laughs> no one really cared about Eternal Edition, but that was fine because it was just a... A minor thing, I just a I, yeah. I mean, a, I guess a pet it's, it's project because I was wanted a little to fix bit confusing to some have, things. I mean, I didn't even know. I I played Afterbirth, but I wasn't really aware of what was going on with the parallel development, despite being a pretty big fan at the time it came out. So I guess it just got lost in the shuffle a little bit, unfortunately. Oh yes, all the bad reviews. Even though it was all free, so it was a lot of free content at least. Yeah. What like what what changes were there in Eternal Edition? Because like <laughs> apparently I bought Eternal Edition without even noticing. I just was <laughs> I was just I just want original Isaac and and that's yeah, what you, I got. Yeah, you get it for free if you have Wrath of the Lamb because yeah. that way you can uninstall it if you want, but you can also just play it for free and it's great. So basically it has these new Eternal Champions which are just white champions. Mm -hmm. And they have insane patterns, and, and they do bullet hell things, and there was a bunch of little Sick. fixes. And, and they really troll you hard at times, like that. Nice. You know that boss that splits into little pieces? The, the, mm -hmm. the fistula. Yep. Uh, no, the, the mini boss, actually. So he, he has a power where he recombines if two pieces of the same size hit each other. So you could, you could get that on an early level, and you'd have to fight him for, for half an hour before he stops doing that. Does he regain a little bit of health when he when that happens or something? Oh yes, but it gets less the longer you fight him, so it's not okay, completely cool. insane. Yeah, it's almost like you thought about how to implement this. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll have to. I, I I definitely want to see Ben try to play this, oh, and so should we should definitely film time. some kind of let's play of Agreed. that. Agreed. Oh, okay. Yeah. So to do that, you have to do it on hard mode to get these bullshit champions. Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, alright, that's what we'll do then. You should do a, an Isaac race. I, ooh, hey, there's an Isaac race. You fucking Isaac race. You know, what Isaac's you just too to hard Isaac? for most of us, I think. We then could, again, well, we, well, could, we, could, we could just fucking play Isaac in parallel, and it'd be like, you know, who who wins. Yeah, basically like yeah, that, that and then you just yeah. edit it together. <laughs> I mean, ben, ben, Jesse, and Nate are all pretty hardcore Isaac players, so yeah. that's that's three right there, and I am good at pl being shit at video games Ooh, and true. losing challenges. <laughs> I'm so. playing Isaac right now. You guys didn't even know it. That's oh, how uh -huh. good I am. I'm wow. the sneakiest at video games. <laughs> well, Jesse, your IRL life doesn't count. Get out of that basement and go live your life. <laughs> go be a real boy. <laughs> Mom's coming for you. <laughs> I'm just thinking tendies. about the fact that Jesse is literally in a shit-filled basement, like yeah. a destroyed... Yeah. Well, I don't know. I guess it's all cleaned up now, right? Or, uh, how, how, how wrecked is the basement currently, Jesse? Um, well, I'm in it. So pretty bad. So, so, it's, so, bad. so, it's, so it's more filthy than it was before <laughs> I came home. It was, it was washed away with your tears. Yes. Oh, the antagonist is mom, just like in real life. I get it now. <laughs> mom, <laughs> get out of my basement, mom! That's, yeah, yeah. Hippo, are you also firing up Isaac? Is this why everyone's going quiet? Is everyone just playing well, Isaac I'm now? I'm actually <laughs> playing Orbok C, because it's on mini clip. Oh, oh sweet. Kind of fun. I why tried to play here? Isaac. I turned on Isaac just now, but then I realized I still have the Undertale mod installed, so it was like I was playing the wrong game, so and I was like, no, uh, get me out of here! Sh I don't want any goddamn Undertale! Sh no! Sans! Sh get out of here! <laughs> Dude, I that game, Sans. Sans could actually get Botflies in his lemon pipe. Oh my god. Oh no! Why? <laughs> Fantastic. Gotta get Munchie on this. We gotta get him to play it. Do a Let's Play. Was it, you you know, ironically... Munchie? 
Was it Munchie that tweeted about that? Didn't someone tweet about that recently? That 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 well, a binding of Isaac is bot flies in your lemon pipe. That yeah. was me. That yeah, was you. Yeah. Okay, sick. Well, Classic. I sure do take a crap. How about <laughs> you? <laughs> so, uh, why don't you tell us your future plans? I'm very interested to know what your you know five ten year plan is as a game developer. Where do you see yourself going? Or maybe as a YouTuber, maybe you, I mean, maybe long term you'd like to get away from game dev? I mean, I hope not, but perhaps. It feels that if I had access to YouTube and if I hadn't been shy, I probably could have had a pretty good YouTube career. But now I'll just have to start now. I'd become oh, it's the, not too late, dude. Isaac is ever. still big. Isaac is still big, and you're, that, that's why I was astounded that you would, you know, condescend to speak to us lowly plebs from your pedestal of a, a well, real game dev who's made one of my favorite games of my life. And, uh, you yeah, know, just, yeah, all that shit. It's the first time we've had someone who's a fan of the show who, like, does work that we respect. I gotta say, I like I like where this is going. I like where this is going. Uh, good yeah. thing Mumkey's not listening anymore, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Well, like, you know... I mean, the PCP is just a bunch of YouTubers, and we've had other YouTuber guests well, on. Well, and, and, and me. Well, yeah, sure. Right, I'm right, special. Right. Go on. Yes. Sure. Yeah. I always forget that. <laughs> that you're not just another YouTuber. But, <laughs> the, like... The, the, with the furtive the furtive Ben Saint. So easily <laughs> forgotten. Yeah. I, I, guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is that, like... I hate that uh, guy. <laughs> like, like, we we have on YouTubers who we like, but I think that everyone in the PCP thinks that we're better YouTubers than everybody, anyways. Of course. So it's like you know we we have on people who we like their work, but you know I it's not like I think any of them are better than me at this job. But then you are someone who's made something that none of us even could make, and all of us are fans of and think is great. And so it's it was that I think that's why it was so shocking to us to find out that you were not just watching the video of Binding of Isaac, but actually a huge fan of the channel. And we were just like, how could it be possible that someone who's it's, done a, a real thing... It's, it's, <laughs> very, it's very gratifying that someone yeah. who's not some kind of fucked up, wasteoid, dweebazoid, waste of space asshole, <laughs> oh, wow. uh, like the well, rest of our fans, like, like the rest of here, our fans, man. like the rest of you fans <laughs> listening at home would be watching our shit. Thank you. All of you with your little uh, pissant YouTube channels. Oh, we inspired you. Well, we didn't inspire you enough, obviously, because you stink. You all stink. We didn't inspire you enough because you still haven't put that bullet in that chamber yet. We're waiting for it any day now. Get to that already, buddy. Incidentally, if if there are any people who have who have made real things that any of us have heard of that, that watch yeah, the show, know. let us know. <laughs> yeah, if it really if boosts legit. our egos strongly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but I'm not that great. I'm just one of those annoying commenters you don't like. Um, maybe you, you know what, guys? You're, have you're, we learned a little something short. here? Have you're we learned that boy. commenters actually can be decent people? No! <laughs> Get out! Oh no! All right, fair this, enough. This has flown in the face of everything I've ever known. Yeah, <laughs> it was. It was. It well, the funny thing about it is that like that that Isaac Let's Play, because the audio recording was so bad, and it was like we recorded it at it was it was like six in the morning after we just done like eight hours of other Let's Plays that are all for uh, Jesse's channel. And we were like, we didn't want to go to bed. We still wanted to record. And Ben's like, let's do Isaac. I can play that. You know, I've, I've played a million hours of it. I can play yeah. it sort of on autopilot. Ben wasn't as tired as uh, me and Jesse were. Um, but we're like, like you know, the, the, there's not a whole lot of conversation. It's sort of bad audio. And so I considered, like, not even releasing it. It was like, you know, will anyone actually be entertained by this? But I'm now I'm glad I did because now we found out that the guy who programmed the damn game is a fan of the show. And I was like, you know, uh, this just goes to show everyone uh, put out every stupid shit video that you make. Uh, don't don't throw anything away. Release it all. Uh, you never know when you'll meet the guy who made Binding of Isaac by way of your uh, your crappy yes. shit oh, video yes. that you put Specifically no that. I, I watch <laughs> all your Relatable. shit videos. There's no escape from me. Relatable. Relatable. <laughs> That's my excuse that I'm sticking to it from now on. 
<laughs> no one can stop oh, no, me from I'm, releasing shit. I've started a terrible downgrade of PCP content. Everything will be terrible <laughs> Is now. Is such a thing possible? I don't know. Get don't ready. worry, we've been on a downward spiral for quite some time. Get ready for more content than there are even hours in the goddamn day. And all of oh, it will be shit. We'll just, turn on, we'll just turn on a camera in the corner somewhere and just leave it going. It'll just be going and going. I've till, already till... made my declaration that I don't make good videos anymore, and I'm sticking yeah. to it. It's bad videos <laughs> from here on out. It's the only kind you're going to see from me. It's the only kind I want to make. It's the oh, only no. kind. The That's best dedication. videos are the worst ones. Uh, what about Horseshoe Finale Part 3? When's that coming out? It'll come in the fucking <laughs> toilet. <laughs> and I'll flush it down like, into the like sewer, and no one, I'll make it, I'll make it, but no one will ever see it. Uh, I'll no, make it just to delete it. <laughs> I'll spend a year making it just so that I can upload a video of me deleting the file. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be my ultimate, that'll be like my G.G. Allen committing suicide on stage. But he never got to do it because he died in his own shit first. But if he did, that would be my <laughs> analogy for that. <laughs> <laughs> what, had he like promised he was gonna do that and then did not? Yeah, do he that didn't or make something? it. He said he didn't make it to the promised day because he he like shot heroin up his butt pipe or something and died first. <laughs> butt pipe. Heroin in my butt pipe, Sans. <laughs> I'm with you. I uh, died I'm... in my own shit at Disneyland, <laughs> Sans. <laughs> Florian, I have to ask, what is your favorite and least favorite PCP meme? Mm. That's a good question. Oh god, not the memes. So you should An outside perspective. Usually ignore the memes altogether. I was very shocked when I talked to Nate that he was just talking purely in memes. It was all just cack and, and lol and everything. <laughs> Son! <laughs> He yeah, knows that I'm secretly the best meme. Did what you, are your thoughts on the Undertaler? Any, uh, you know, <laughs> upvoted, downvoted? Any, what what any, are you any, feeling? Any, the official any PCP thoughts? mascot. Any, any, <laughs> how, how fucking hype were you to see him get his at the hands of everyone, at the at the people's champion, Brunswick the yeah. Mammoth Swine? Mm-hmm. Oh, I think I must have missed that one. Oh, oh no! You didn't <laughs> watch the Royal Rumble. He's not oh, a real PCP one. fan. Get him out of here. It was all <laughs> oh, trick. No. He infiltrated Actually, us to shill his game that no one's ever heard of, The Binding of Isaac. His game that's already fucking sold a billion copies. Oh god, that, hey, that he's, he's shilling off of our fame and influence. influence. He wants to shill Binding of Isaac on our little 7,000 subscriber <laughs> podcast. He knows. He knows there's an untapped market there. He wants yes. that patreon.com slash Ben Saint money, but we're not going <laughs> to let him have he, it. He fucking does, doesn't he? Yes, they all want it. They're all trying of, to get a piece of, of my pie. I need all these idiots who give Jesse money so you can insult them. I need hey, all of them now. Hey, don't insult my idiots, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> That's my job. Oh, fuck. Good. I'm glad. I think we, I think we all understand each other a lot better now. That's, that's true. That's true. It We've feels all good. learned something, a valuable lesson here today. Well, uh, I'm, if you want to get, if you want to get rich, get on the PCP. Mm -hmm. The, mm -hmm. <laughs> then that's it. Because we're all rich. <laughs> well, that's right. Look yeah. what it's done for us. That's the true lesson rich here. Boys. We're all rich. <laughs> rich boys. <laughs> <sighs> Patreon.com slash we're not really rich. Give us money. It was all a joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, it's always a dangerous joke, that one. <laughs> Patreon.com slash I don't have health insurance anymore. Help me. Please. That's a good That's Patreon. That's actually true. It's 100% true. You think I'd fuck around with this shit? What oh, even no, is health Trump's? insurance? I don't think I've ever had that. Well, well, you know, you're lucky, because right. once, sure once you got it, once you got it, you're suddenly scared of everything when it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Insurance is for the birds. It's for little pussy baby it's girls. For the birds. Well, I wish I was a bird. bird. Insurance. Insurance is like the PCP of adults. No one needs it, and it shouldn't exist. <laughs> Hey, one, uh, I've got a real question uh, that I was wondering about. Uh, Florian, what would you say were your uh, game, like, inspirations when you were making, you know, all, all the stuff you did? What are some classics that oh, you loved as a young lad yeah, yeah, that yeah, influenced the, the, your the, art? What, what, what the, the classics that inspire your, your, your dev shit. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh man, I I don't even remember if I had any kind of inspirations at the time of, of were making you just Isaac. Kinda, were you just kind of trolling around on new grounds and just seeing what people were making and you know well, well, absorbing well, that? I was, but I, I mm. never really got into Flash games, even though I made them myself. I never really, huh. I I can't point out one good Flash game that I really like. Except <laughs> I can't point out one good Flash game. <laughs> Holy shit, <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Um, well, like, what, um, I mean, what would you say are some of your favorite games? Well, I, I actually made <laughs> a top ten list that you should watch about my oh. favorite games. Well, but I am a, a, P a PC master, master PC race master. master. Nice. And so, nice. my, my, my original games, not like, they're not Mario or anything like that, they're Minesweeper. I, I play Minesweeper and I'm really good yeah. at it. Yeah! Yeah, I love fucking Minesweeper. Yeah, man. I'm oh, so sweet. pissed off that, like, uh, like, um, my current computer, uh, I guess I have a pirated Windows, and so it didn't come with Minesweeper. Oh, no. It makes me mad. But uh, but luckily, it's, it's, it's a browser game now. You can easily just type Minesweeper into Google, and it's fucking there. But I, I've spent, uh, spent many an hour. I think I've won maybe two or three times. <laughs> and, and, and those were the most glorious moments of my life. I have never oh, won wow. Sweeper, and I just don't see it ever happening for me. It, it really boils down to luck at the end. Cause, Wait, like, I what, have. What difficulties were you playing? Yeah, yeah, I have the won it, but only one. on, like, super, like, I set the difficulty, like, so it, like, you can't even lose. No, you gotta set it to, you gotta, you know, you, you play hard mode with 99 mines, <laughs> and you yep. fucking flag them all, and if you, but, but when you get down to the very end, there's always going to be a point where like there's just no way to know. Like there's uh, always yeah, one oh, moment course, where you course. just can't know, and you have to guess. Ah, uh, you casual minesweepers! I got a twenty-five percent <laughs> win rate on expert. It's very doable, even though sometimes it's fucked and you have to guess. But it's very doable. 25% of the time. I I love get, that your get, gaming get good, inspiration Scrubs. is fucking Minesweeper. How do you feel about how do you feel about Space Pinball? Are you a big fan of Space Pinball as well? <laughs> yeah, Dude. No, no, how about Jez Ball? <laughs> yes. Can I get any love for Jez Ball? I don't know oh, Jez God. Ball. I fucking love Jez Ball. How, how, how about that? How about that uh, screensaver maze? A, a maze that you like the mouse just goes through and finds the cheese. Was that a big gaming inspiration oh, oh, I, for you I, as I well? See growing up? <laughs> I, I see monkeys saying Jez Ball is the shit. You know, I think monkeys mentioned Jez Ball before. Yeah, monkey, you, 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 it's it's really cool. Look it up. <laughs> no, I got a, I got a game it. for you. It's called Dark Souls. What about what about uh, what oh, was it yeah, like Dark Endless Souls Jest, the Quest for Donut or something? The There's original. a game. Oh yeah, the best game of all time. Ooh. Yeah, Jess Jesse. Funnily enough, while maybe has not developed any indie games, has like three about him. Yeah, somehow. yeah. I forgot about yeah. that. And there should be more. And the, every, <laughs> there, I don't want there to ever be a to be a lull in the in the people making games about me meme. More. Makes sense. Hey, you know what? I Speaking of which. Uh, Gamester, yeah, just do it, bro. Just, just download just makegame.exe do and it. run that shit. I got, I got, mm, uh, Click Team Micro Media Fusion something or other too. I'm gonna make a game right now. I'm just gonna open it up. What? The fuck? <laughs> All right, oh that's that's great. Oh no, we're gonna hey, have the so world's I've first live people. making a game. Relevant to that, uh, I was I was tweeted out a little while ago, you know, ask us questions and stuff. And Monkey Jones asked a question for you, Florian. Uh, hey, procrastinators, how much do I gotta pay that guy for a Monkey Flash game? So what what are your rates? So what can we? Uh, what, what can <laughs> oh, no, you can't afford me. I'm can't afford you. Insanely expensive. I don't know. He's got the monkey money, star, dude. <laughs> He's a YouTuber. He's making all that whatever money. whatever God. Monkey offers you, I'll double it to not make a game about him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> oh my god, the bidding war that'll never end. That's fantastic. Incidentally, uh, episode 42 of the Procrastinators podcast is being published right this second. Oh my god. And you're all missing, <coughs> Florian, you're missing out on your favorite oh no. podcast because you're too busy being on your favorite podcast. <laughs> yes, I was afraid I would just stop playing Dark Souls and fapping just like I would normally when I play, when I listen to you guys. Yeah. How do you but, get but those I've been... at the same time? That, that's, yeah, holy that's, shit. Oh, yeah, exactly. that, that's hard mode, Hippo. What the fuck are you? That is hard. <laughs> I usually just use the controller to jack, so I can use both my hands on the on the buttons. 
But do you you do do a one hand each? Oh, oh, like like you wrap the cord around your dick and you like yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. easy. Oh That's my god, not the strangle yeah. wank. Perfect. <laughs> It's the, the only kind that gets me off anymore. Yeah, and only to Dark Souls. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they, those undead naked women, perfect. Oh Especially when they when they turn into beef after they've been hollowed. <laughs> yes. You know, I, I'm just I'm just oh, gonna dude, say jerky. the what is it the the fuck what's that what's that roast beef covered uh, beast from Bloodborne that's just got the floppy vagina on its back. Oh, you know what I'm talking oh, about? The blood starved beast. The blood yeah the blood. Blood starved, starved beast. beast is hot as the fuck. Roast dog. Beef <laughs> the roast beef beast. The roast beef beast of DLC. Yeah. <laughs> roast beef. Oh no! School you Bloodborne for not coming out on PC. <laughs> Yeah, it, yeah. It didn't. What the they really fucked you over with that one. Jesus. It's awful. Just like Dude, that's Demon the biggest Souls. meme in the world, Ben. Holy yeah, shit. it's because Sony published or <coughs> helped them make it or something. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, let's uh, let's transition. We got some questions here that uh, we can take a look at over on the on the Twitter. Um, yeah. Here's an important one from um, at uh, at Cygris after the D. Uh, they want to know uh, why does Digi shit naked? First of all, I didn't even know that was true. And second of all, please explain, Digi, <laughs> why you shit naked. Well, I can think of a few good reasons. One, yep. it feels good. Mm -hmm. Two, it feels good. <laughs> I mean, and really, there's three, only the one reason. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the full aesthetic package is, is delivered. Uh, makes sense to me. Um, here's uh, one that's uh, stupid, but I'm going to ask it anyway by uh, at Eathen Cool. Uh, what do you think Western animation can learn from anime and vice versa? Nothing. Run. Flee. Do not take anything from anime. It's trash, my dude. Tentacle porn. Shouldn't 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 these questions be for our our guests? Oh, yes, yes they should. Oh, wow. Maybe you should have specified we attention. have a guest this week. And <laughs> oh God, ask us it's questions. true. Nobody knows. Actually, I heard that Monkey leaked the secret info in the Discord, <gasps> in the fan Discord. Oh, yeah. So if you were in the, if you, know. so you were if it, if you were in the PCP oh, fan Discord, it. yeah. Someone Fucking. on Snapchat told me that Monkey leaked it in the fan Discord. So if you want to be on the on the on the ball the, with the know, hot goss, that fan Discord is going to be the death of us. The, the the idea that there's some fucking hive of filth and villainy where where. Where, where, you know, fans of us talk about us amongst themselves. I don't Who knows know. what they're saying? Who knows what know. sick things they're saying? I don't know what the fuck they're saying, but I'm glad that they're saying it, whatever it is. Well, actually, uh, some people did actually ask specific questions. There was, uh, well, I mean, Mumkey was one, but but here's a real one, actually, for Florian, uh, by at SteelViper77 asks, Florian, what was your favorite project to work on with Ed other than The Binding of Isaac? I like Coil. It's the C word, of course. It's of a course. rainbow of fills. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And everything just stays in a background and turns black, and it's all just filthy fluids everywhere. What is what is Coil? I'm not familiar with that one. I don't know. Oh, yeah. You fucking go look it up. Are you going to make him fucking explain the whole it's game? Just fucking go to his website. You'll fine. find it. Fine. Fine. Never mind. Part two in the Sperm Trilogy. Can I just say that, the, that I, I think... Just as much, just as much as Isaac, I think your contribution to gaming history of having made the game called Cunt is absolutely invaluable. It's the, it's, <laughs> it's something that I, I cherish the that there is a game called, called Cunt. Cunt. So yeah. I, I was curious. So I mean, it's also known as the C word. So was that so that it could be released on various platforms, or just so it could be advertised, or you know, what was the thought process there? Well, I suppose that was just the name that it would have on the. On the platforms, but then when you mm -hmm. click on it, it would say "can't." Okay, so, makes sense. I guess it's yeah. mild censorship. Sure. Uh -oh. Same with the time kafuk or whatever that Ed did, which is just called time fuck in the actual game. Mm -hmm. It's just to get around the uh, the loopholes there, you know. Hard to run advertising, I imagine, uh, on a game called Cunt. <laughs> well, oh, that's yes. why... Free breaking... Flash games need all the advertisement. <laughs> breaking taboos is well, good. Well, I know, uh, I mean, maybe the advertising that would have been on, like, Newgrounds or whatever, they might 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 not be able to run ads next to a game called Cunt. Oh, yes, and meanwhile they have that game where, where you're the big daddy and you chainsaw children. Yes. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. it's, it's it's very amusing to me constantly, the uh, acceptance oh. of violence and the rejection of anything sexual in Oh, nature. that other game that they have where... Oh, that 
animation where just a clown who, who plays propeller with his dick and he plays some, some goofy music to it. <laughs> yeah, meat span. Excellent. Oh no. <laughs> Animated version of it. <laughs> um uh, these questions are all garbage, and uh, nobody's <laughs> asking anything good. Uh, do you guys watch uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Uh, yes, uh, T. Weiss writer. Now shut the hell up and never comment again. <laughs> yeah. This is, this yeah. Is what, this is what it is. This is this what, is what this I want to hear. Love. This is what I want out of PCP. this guy says. This guy says, uh, uh, "Hey, uh, what did you guys think about Final Fantasy 15?" Yeah. Fuck you! <laughs> Cut. <laughs> That's what I think about it, you asshole. I, I, I can't shit on my buddy at RabbitsFoot99 with their incredibly cute duck icon asking, does dieting matter too much or is it all about exercising? Uh, dieting's super important. It's more important than exercising. Do that if you want to be healthy. So there, there you go. There's a real question for you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Thanks. You, oh, you okay. Uh, let's just do one more because these are all garbage. Well, uh, I got a question. I got a question. Oh, okay. Uh, Florian. What is your favorite videos from all of us? Oh, yeah. oh put oh, him on the spot! Put him on the spot! It's definitely gonna be Horseshoe Finale. I've really? just watched that again recently, and it's just always so weird, so and it's amazing. I have, I have to fucking ask, does that mean that you have watched the Horseshoe Saga that led up to it? Uh, no, not all of it, but I have read track... Well, I suppose, Ooh. actually, I guess so, but I watched the finale first, and now... It's it's also tragic in its beauty because now it means that all of you guys have stopped making pony reviews and I now know. who who will explain my little pony to me? Who will do it? There's no one left. <laughs> there's it's none. a lost cause now. There's you none. There's, none. there's no. only a pale imitation. You know, That's after true. Horseshoe Finale, they stopped trying. That's when the show went downhill because they knew. They knew the, 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 to know the inspired art had surpassed the original creation, so it was time yeah. to shut <laughs> yeah. down shop. I, yeah. I well, that was know. always that. That was always the case. There was that that one cartoon Max Giliardi did, and that was amazing. The dot mm -hmm. the dot move series, yeah. That's the oh, one. Yeah. There that. there was there was um shirk there was uh the the friendship is witchcraft, which was better than the original show by miles. Agreed. Yeah, the there was this there was this one channel called I Love Kim Possible a lot, and you'd think <laughs> that it was a Kim Possible channel, but it was actually a My Little Pony channel, and it was the most hard hitting, in depth, fucking yeah. out of control, yeah, right. underground, yeah. Truly... no holds barred, no fucking mainstream bullshit. It was real analysis for real fucking bronies. Let me tell if you. you, if you wanted oh, to wow. know what the fuck was up, that was that was your hub. That was your hub, not yeah, the hub. Yeah. One of the, you know, probably the chief influence on on drowning in horseshoes was the <laughs> was the legendary I love Kim Possible a lot. <laughs> oh my any, god! Any any fucking ways, I think Hippo was asking for your favorite video by each of us. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, and no. don't don't be afraid oh, to so hurt weird. our that's feelings like, if you like don't fuck, if you don't know if you don't know any of us. Yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna be to... like upset if you don't know like which which one of mine you like. I just, know like, about I'm you. I'm just curious. If, huh? I've seen. Just, just uh, uh, what Hippo wants to know is what's what's your favorite video of his. Just answer that question. <laughs> yeah, that's what he wants to know. fish at the door. There's a fish at the door. It's amazing. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love fish at the door. Yeah. Shit, man. Oh, fantastic. I'm glad, I'm glad you know Put about out that the water. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that a while ago before I even saw the rest of his channel. So yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Great. Uh, is that by one the on way? The, is that on the Gibb and Take channel or is that on Hypocrite? It is. That's on yes. Gibb and Take. Okay. Gibb and Take. Yeah. Uh, quick question about that about the lore of Fish at the Door. Did that man go on? To, was that a, was that a business that he started uh, selling water to these fish? Do they do they pay? Is this a you know, like a, a, a uh, yeah. He's, he started a bar. He made you know. He made a made the best of a of a bad situation. All these immigrants coming over, he, <laughs> immigrants he, from he the got, ocean, he got, right? He, he, he got uh, like all this tap water. He's like, I can su I can supply these fish. You know, what they want. I know. How would it be if Hippo was like, yeah, it's all it's all a metaphor for immigration. I have a very <laughs> right wing <laughs> policy about these it's, things. Well, actually, that's a very left wing policy about accepting this, them. This is though. actually a pro Trump uh, propaganda piece. That, Fucking uh, finally, it's, it's I was pill, waiting dude. for an excuse to talk about Donald Trump. The best guy, yes. who's also I hate him, but I can't decide today. Every day is different. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, I've trolled so much about Donald Trump, I don't even know where I stand anymore. I've trolled myself into a corner with Donald Trump. 
Help! Oh my god. Uh, Nate, what was the last question you wanted to? Uh, okay. Read? Uh, yeah. Here, here's one. Um, uh, oh fuck, I lost it. Uh, what's your favorite bird? Uh, what's your favorite bird? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh yes. my god. Yes. By uh, also, by at Simon finally. at Simon asked what? favorite type of bird. Oh no, this harsh birds are such majestic go. creatures <laughs> and they're also beautiful. Uh, yes. Ravens and crows are cool as shit. <laughs> they're cool as shit, and they could be your friends. Yes, every possible go. topic oh, has a Jesse a meme. It's oh, true. I, I, I got an actual answer. Uh huh. The wood duck. The oh, wood man. duck. Why, if, Ben? If you, why? Made of wood? Just, go, Google Google wood duck, and you will see okay. the majesty that is the wood duck, and it's and it's and it's and it's, and it's beautiful plumage. Ooh, it's got nice stripes all over it. it. It's all colorful and iridescent and shit. Whoa! I love pretty it. Good. Pretty good. Pretty good ass right? duck. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, for sure. Loving that wood uh, duck. Living my the wood favorite duck kind life. of bird is a uh, Pidgeotto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wait, like... no, no. My favorite bird type Pokemon is Missing No, because it's the only bird type Pokemon. Yeah, what? that's true. Oh. I see. It's glitch You got type outclassed, type. motherfucker. God yeah. damn. Well, well, you know, Pidgeotto's been a... You know, even though I'm sick of seeing his ass, he's been a very helpful companion in many a Pokemon game over the years. I can't say there's any other bird I've spent more time with. My favorite Pidgeotto. bird is Big Bird. Yeah. Because he's big. Because <laughs> he's, he's fucking biggest. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's as big as Big Bird. God damn it! I'll fight a nigger. Hey. I'll fight anyone who says he's bigger than Big Bird. I like uh, I like Dynablade from uh, Kirby Superstar. Uh, he's he's strong. He's a good mom. Uh, he loves his family. You know, <laughs> got strong strong Christian values. You know, there's a lot to love about the Ooh. the man woman. No, the, no, the best bird from Kirby is definitely Heavy Lobster. I do like Heavy Lobster. Heavy Lobster is a good uh, I, What I'm trying to say is I love Meta Knight's Revenge. Uh, it's the greatest Kirby game of all time. And Dino Blade helps you, and that's nice. And Cur Kirby is an evil man. Uh, but I love that uh, game. Uh, 10 out of 10. Meta Knight's Revenge. There you go. Best Kirby game. Dino Blade just was, is fucking Songbird from Infinite before it was cool. Yeah. Only you never fight Songbird. So whatever. You... I think right. my favorite bird will be a cassowar because it's so deadly and beautiful. Ooh, I'm gonna Google that. It's it's pretty much an emo with a spike at its foot, I think, unless I misremembered oh, the name. That's I think good, so, yeah. That's Shit, a good how do you, bird. How do you spell that? I can't. That bird can't do is it. like that bird is like half buffalo. <laughs> Ooh. That's link, link me your search result, Nate. I'm too lazy to Google you it myself. I, I, I couldn't find it. I, <laughs> I am I am leaned back in my chair, and I cannot be asked to lean forward. Ben, please, if you if you please, God post the God link. God's sake! I, I I don't know how to spell this thing. <laughs> yes, right away, right goes. away, right oh, okay. away, sir. <laughs> Okay, there we go. All right, now we're. That looks like that's a dinosaur. Is what that is. That's just a straight dinosaur. <laughs> yep, dinosaur bird. God oh, damn. Yeah. I'd like it's to big fuck that bird. It is beefy. <laughs> it looks oh delicious. God. It's glorious. It does look delicious. It's got a lot of meat on them. Non bones it looks, or it hollow looks bones. Almost, oh oh. Oh no! Like What's that evil? other super delicious bird? Um, Chicken. Um, They're all so <laughs> delicious. <laughs> yeah yeah. No, no, there's another bird. The the most Turkey? delicious bird. Turkey. No, it's green and it's weird. Duck. Mm. I green, like green I food. Uh, green eggs and ham. Everyone type in green bird on Google. We'll find it. <laughs> green, oh, we'll that's, find that's Cowboy Bebop. Oh, Cowboy it's Polly! Yeah. You know what? My favorite green bird Kakapo. is... The Kakapo. The Kakapo is the most delicious bird. Is that a cacophony in its unevolved form? It's a <laughs> caca. <laughs> Everything is Pokemons. It's it's all Pokemons. I'm sorry, I totally cut you off, Hippo. What? Oh, I was just talking about the penguin being my favorite because he's got green green screen skin. He does. Oh, from oh, Batman. Oh, oh, the penguin. Your penguin, Your, right? The, 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 the hippo. Penguin the hippo boy. penguin. Right. How could I forget? The the soon to be a real character. Penguin boy. When's, when are we seeing more of that yes. of that young man? The, the I want reference know. literally no one will get. Penguin <laughs> boy. <laughs> I, I get this. <laughs> when's he coming back, Gib? When's he coming back? Uh, well, I mean, there's a there's a club penguin news <gasps> that I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, 
yes. Oh, oh that's exciting. exciting. Oh my god, he needs to avenge his people who are all being uh, fucking executed at the end of March. Oh my god, that's 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 very exciting. That's very exciting. Okay, uh, we're we're done. We're out of steam, right? We're we're done here. I oh, think no. we can wrap Wait. this shit up. I'm trying to take a picture of the game that I'm developing right now. But it's <laughs> oh, wow. a screenshot right thing. Won't work. Okay, then let's see if right, there's another right question. You, uh... I'm trying to take a screenshot. This better be the screen. best oh, damn okay. game I ever seen, or I swear to right. God, I'll want I'll my just money print back. Screen. Yeah, print screen. Print screen. Well, I'll, I'll do it after the podcast. I'll show you. No, you do it now. I want to see it now. Do it now. The people must know. All right. Oh shit! I gotta open up Photoshop. Just fucking screen cap. Why? Just just use the screen cap software doesn't Oh yeah, dude, do dude, it. I'm going to teach you something paint. incredibly valuable Press right now. Press the print screen Guys, button. Guys, let me let me teach everyone. And... Let me teach everyone yeah. the most important thing you'll ever learn about your computer if you use Windows. Go into your start menu and in the search bar type snip and snipping tool will pop up, which instantly is a thing that lets you capture an area of your screen. It automatically converts it into so an image that you can just control V paste oh. anywhere and use that for the rest of your life because it's the most valuable thing. Uh, in the world. Okay. Weird. So use that. Yeah, print screen will do. Print yeah, screen. do it or do oh, it. I love it already. It. It, it's oh my God. Whoa! It's Super Mario okay. Hippo. You fucking Number one did. hippo in gaming. You, you little did, you, boy. You made all this art during this podcast and made a fully functional game with nothing in it. I love it. I love it. That's a, Amazing. That is an incredible amount that you've done in this short span of time since announcing that you were going to do it. Oh my god, Gippo, you know, I mean, Gippo. Gippo. you know what you need to get later in this game? You need to upgrade your propeller hat so you can just fly all the time. And it'll That's go, exactly what I was thinking. Yeah! yeah. He's, he's, he's basically Rayman. I can't Hell wait yeah. for that. Okay. Oh, so so good that uh, everyone was cutting off Hippo so they ha could have had time to make all this. Perfect. <laughs> that <laughs> <Yeah>. is great. <laughs> He's 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 utilized uh, his disability for good at long last. It's it's wonderful. My crippling disability. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well that's by, it. By the way, yeah, I, I just wanted to let you know that right before we did this podcast, mm -hmm. my headset broke in the most ridiculous way, and I'm not sure if you've been able to hear it, but something in on the inside of my headset has broken off, and, and now it sounds like a rattle whenever I shake my head. <laughs> Listen to this. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's driving me insane. A little crunchy sound. <laughs> I, I hope it wasn't too no noisy. I can <laughs> hear it at all. Hear it till now. Yeah. But now I'm well, gonna yeah, go back and I... listen for it. That's an, it's, <laughs> oh, like no. an, it's like an Easter egg. Now, now can you can, you now you can listen to the this. The headset. <laughs> now you, you can listen to this that... podcast at home, viewers, and the second viewing will be more rich for the experience. <laughs> yeah. Replay we'll value. That's yeah. what it's yeah, all about. Yeah, replay value. Well, well, you know, like. What's it called? Uh, fucking Discord has really good, like, um, like it only picks up audio if it's above a certain level, but Audacity doesn't have that, so there's a good chance our oh, audience hear will hear a lot more than, uh, than we do. Quite did. possible. Quite possible. But it can't be that bad. Well, well I, try, I tried to hold still <laughs> for you. How oh, bad? We appreciate it. We appreciate it. <laughs> well, that was Piece another of episode of the Procrastinators. <laughs> we sure are a, a, a good bunch of friends or something. We sure are a bunch of guys. We did talk to boys. another guy. We, um... Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cue the song. No. Yeah. Uh, everybody say... Goodbye. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to be working right now. Hippo. But I'm not working. I'm doing nothing. Hippo. My dick, I'm jerking. Myself, Hippo. I'm sucking. Stop recording. I've got a deadline. Don't want to do it. What the hell is wrong with me? I'm supposed to be making money. I'm supposed to be creating fun.
it's quite the burden. It's a hard knock life being a genius. <laughs>